Yesterday, when I tried to buy some tokens on Solana, I could not. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Vinci Jeremy. I'm in the pod 5x5, five five, staying live here in Dubai. And man, I got some news for you and about Solana and a few other things. Uh, it's going to be interesting. And of course, we're going to be doing some TA at the end of the show. And, you know, you guys tune in because you want to know which crypto to buy. What can I, can I dump my money in? And it's going to make some money in the future. Well, I already showed you guys this, right? I'm heavily invested in this. You know, it's already made an all time high. And you know what I say? When it makes something makes an all time high, I'll show you buy. So what are you waiting for? If you got some, some cash you want to throw at this and see where it goes, because man, you know, crypto is exploding in this next bull market. This is where this is an option right here. Again, I'm heavily invested and you can buy this at bybit.davincij15.com. Links in the description below. All right, guys, there's only a few tickets left for my meetup. So make sure if you want to come, you, you click on, you know, April 14th and you sign up for that event. Okay. It's going to be an awesome event. It's at 11 o'clock on Sunday, 1130 actually, but yeah, you can come a little bit early. It's okay. And yeah, we'll see you there. Okay. Solana congestion to Important update shared with the community. Okay. As Solana continues to experience congestion on its network with large portions of its transaction coming off as unsuccessful, the organization has ur urged members of the community to be patient as developers are core contributors are working tirelessly to address the underlying issues and strengthen the network's infrastructure. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So, Oh boy, it's totally centralized, right? Because you know the only way that this is possible, this update is possible to 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 keep uh, the system update up to date speed is if it's totally centralized. And I mean, people are you know saying Sana sucks right now. Devs are doing something, but you know a lot of people are upset, right? If you make a system that uh, provides fast tran fast transactions but low fees, and keep the fees low. Right? What are you going to get? You're going to get a lot of people using the system. And there's no way to reduce the number of people using the system by, you know, saying, hey, 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 use it only when, if, it co if it's cost effective. So if you have a price incentive that says, okay, well, if you want to get your transactions through, you got to pay. Well, all of a sudden, the people who want transactions to go through will get them through. And the people who are like, yeah, okay, I'll let go because it's too expensive. I'll wait. Well, they'll stand by at the side and be able to uh, wait until the transactions fees come down. You see, that's how it works. But Solana doesn't work that way. And it seems like a great idea because everybody started running on it, right? And now they're realizing, right? Because, you know, the population, the public, right, they want to have their cake and eat it too. They want cheap everything, fast everything, and oh, no consequence. There should be no consequences for that. <laughs> yeah, well, there it is. It is it is a painful situation now that you now that you've gotten your cheap transactions and fast transactions, you are paying the price, which is hey. It don't work from time to time. And that's the way it is. So suck it up, right? You can't have it all. All right. Lawmakers highlights two bills to make us a crypto leader says the Bitcoin is unstoppable. Yes. Duh. Well, you know what? Usually these bills, right? That help support crypto is actually designed to do, to, to hurt crypto, right? Anything the government does. It usually backfires on the public. So keep that in mind. Congressman Patrick says Bitcoin is unstoppable, duh. And every regime that tries to shut it down has failed. Yes, and they will continue to fail. He emphasized the U.S. must become a leader in digital assets or you're going to get left behind like every other nation that's done that that's hated on technology, right? And the one nation that embraced it ends up 
winning, noting that two congressional bills offer a path toward clear regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think you need any regulations. Just allow people to use it, learn from it, learn how it, it sucks, right? To have a, uh, a system that's fast and cheap, well, this is what happens, right? You get this over here. Let me show you. Password, you get this. Solana is experiencing network congestion. All right, so keep that in mind. Okay, so to end off the news for today, Nigeria Central Bank prohibits use of foreign exchange as collateral for currency loans. Yeah, that's critically bad for Nigerian lira. I think, you know, someone should create a Nigerian lira stablecoin through algorithmic means. And then, oh, yeah, it would end the system pretty fast, right? Because, hey, you know what? You can still get your Nigerian liras, right? Uh, and, and trade them, right? Directly for um, dollars and USDT. Because even though they're short on USDT over there, dollars actually, they're not short on USDT. They can actually get the USDT. But the problem is who's going to give them USDT for the Nigerian layer when, you know, the, the, the central bank is, the, the currency is dropping like a rock. All right. They're trying to halt the slide of Denira, but uh, that is not going to happen, right? Ongoing shortages of US dollars in the central bank of Nigeria has directed banks to cease using foreign exchanges as collateral for loans in local currency. Yeah, well, why don't you just stop printing money and, you know, stop, you know, loans and stuff, raise interest rates, and you'll see the problem solved, but they're not going to do that. And that's just the way governments work and banks work. So let's just leave it at that. Okay, it is unfortunate that I missed this, this clear trade here. I was on the moon show just yesterday and kudos to crypto kid who was the only one in the office who was working on a holiday, man, that, that kid is destined to for greatness, right? If you are young watching this and you want to learn how to actually become something bigger than, than life, that's what it takes. It takes discipline to do the things, right? That other people won't do. And that is, hey, I know it's a holiday, but I'm going to work anyways. My friends want me to come to play Call of Duty, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this job anyways. And if you do, if you consistently do that on a consistent basis, you will see huge results and everybody will call it luck. So keep that in mind. All right. With that said, I missed this trade. I saw that right, in, right here, uh, um, crypto kid was saying, Hey, yeah, it was breaking down. Probably going to see that further down. I said, Nope. Remember last week, last two weeks, every time I show up at the show, exactly same time, we have a reversal. This was a complete fake out and boom. And I didn't trade because I was like, Oh yeah, you know what? I'll do the trade after the, the show. And I've totally forgot. And there we go. It figures. Right. All right. Looking at before we head over to Ethereum. Make sure you head over to bybit.davincij15.com, right? Sign up and you can get some me tokens, right? You can buy me tokens, bybit.davincij15.com. Or you can head over to tubit.davincij15.com or even Coinbase, Coin W, sorry, .davincij15.com. Links are in the description below. All right, let's bring up Ethereum, Ethereum. When it pumped, it slid right back down to the, the starting point of this. Uh, interesting how it was in a trapped in this 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 area here, and it broke out, and then came right back deck to retest that. And so that that's a good sign. That means probably this is the the lows here, and Ethereum is headed higher. I think people should definitely start you know moving uh, your dollars into Ethereum. That's the way to go. I, I've said that a few times, and we're going to probably do that internally for my company. We're going to start holding US, Ethereum instead of holding USDT. All right. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm going to be answering the questions in the, uh, the chat room because I do this live. You get to watch this actually live. 
If you head over to davinciJ15.com and sign up there, you could watch the show live and see what we're talking about and ask me questions that I will answer it live on the show. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.